Hello friends and welcome to AdipediaWorld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, so far we started the discussion of classification of element to the periodic table. We learnt the reasons for having a classification of elements. Then we move forward to the Dobonelius trait, to the new lands of Tave, and also the Mendeleev's contribution towards the generation of periodic table and finally we discussed the modern periodic law and also the long form of table which we actually call modern periodic table and we also discussed about all the classification of groups and periods and also the characteristics and the variation of characteristics of the element with respect to groups and periods in the modern periodic table. So today we shall discuss about the advantages of the periodic table. So friends, in the discussion we shall learn about the merits of long form of periodic table that we call the modern periodic table. We'll also discuss the advantages of the periodic table. We'll also learn how to predict the property of element by using the periodic table. And also the main points which we you have to remember when we look forward to learn the chemistry. So friends now, let's understand the first point, the merits of long form of periodic table. So the first and very most point that is the merit of long form of periodic table are, is that it is based on the atomic numbers of the element. If you compare to the short form of periodic table, that is other form of periodic table that were actually based on the atomic masses. Well friends, we all know that what is atomic number? It is the number of protons present in the atom. And atomic mass is the summation of numbers of proton plus the number of neutrons present in the nucleus of the atom. So second merit which we'll discuss is as it helps us to understand why element in a group shows similar property but elements in the different group show different properties. Well in this long form of periodic table the elements are arranged according to the electronic configuration and all the elements have similar electronic configuration are put in the same group and also show the similar property. Well friends, the element having different configuration are placed in the different groups and show the different properties. So now we can say that the long form of periodic table that is a modern periodic table brings out the relationship between the atomic structure and the properties of element. Whereas the short form of periodic table does not give any reasons for the similarities and dissimilarities in the properties of element. Now third merit which comes across is the modern periodic table which explains the reason for the periodicity in properties of elements. Well yes, as this long form of table which we also call modern periodic table which actually relates the periodicity in properties of element to the periodicity in the electronic configuration. Well it says that the electronic configuration of the elements are repeated at regular intervals. So the properties of element are also repeated at regular intervals. If you talk about the Bedelief's periodic table, which actually does not give any reason for the periodicity in the properties of the element. So well, this is the merit for the long form of table. The next merit goes like the long form of periodic table tells us why the properties of element are repeated after 2, 8, 18, 32 elements. Well friends, as the electronic configuration of elements are repeated after 2, 8, 18 and 32 elements because 2, 8, 18 and 32 is the maximum numbers of electrons which can be accommodated in 
the shells which we call it KLMN shells of the atom of the element. Well friends, the electronic configuration of elements are repeated after 2, 8, 18 and 32 elements. Therefore, we can say that the properties of the elements are also repeated after 2, 8, 18 and 32 elements. This fixes the number of elements in the period of the periodic table where we compare to the short form of periodic table which actually does not tell us why the properties are repeated after 2, 8, 18 and 32 elements. Now, let's come to the next merit which says that there is, are no anomalies in the arrangement of the elements in the long form of periodic table. Well, for this, let's compare to the Menleaf periodic table, which had some anomalies like the position of isotopes, wrong order of atomic passes of some elements. So by this, we get the merit for the long form of periodic table that they are actually no anomalies in the arrangement of the elements. So now if you move to the next and last merit which says the normal elements or the, and the transition elements and the noble gases have separated clearly in the long form of periodic table. Well friends, it also separates the metals from non-metals. So there is no clear cut separation for the different types of elements in Mendeleev periodic table. If you compare these two periodic table, you'll get the better results in long form of periodic table, which we also call modern periodic table. Now let's understand the advantages of this modern periodic table. Well, first advantage is the periodic table has made the study of chemistry systematic and easy. Well friends, in the periodic table all the elements have been divided into few groups of element and each group contains element with a similar property. It is much more convenient to study the property of a few elements of each group than to study the property of all the elements separately. So we get this advantage in the modern periodic table. Second advantage is as it is easier to remember the properties of element if its position in the pro periodic table is known. Well, how? Okay. For example, the element radium occurs in group 2. Well, we know that the common element of group 2 are magnesium and calcium. So the chemical property of radium will be similar to properties of magnesium and calcium. So this is a very basic example just to make you understand that how it is easier to remember the property of element if you know the position of the element in the periodic table. Now friends, let's go to the Third advantage, which says the type of compound formed by an element can be predicted by knowing its position in the periodic table. Well, for example, if an element is on left side of the periodic table, it will be a metal and hence form only ionic compounds as we have already understood in my last session, in my last video of electronegativity. Please refer to that video to understand the bond formation of the compounds that is respect to the metals and non-metals. So now if an element is on the right side of the periodic table then it will be the non-metal and can form ionic as well as covalent compounds. So by this we shall know what type of compound the element are forming in the chemical reaction. So next is as many elements have been discovered with the help of periodic table. Well, here I like to give you a comparison 
Well, Mendeleev left some gaps in his periodic table as we have already discussed and learned about Mendeleev periodic table. In that, there, that and then unknown elements were not being given the space. So there was some gap is, gaps in the periodic table. And he predicted the existence and properties of these elements by studying the positions in the periodic table. And these elements were discovered later on, which were kept in the modern periodic table. So next advantage we find in the modern periodic table as the atomic masses of many elements have been corrected on the basis of their positions in the Mendeleev periodic table. And last but not the least, a very important and very practical in nowadays that the periodic table chart is used as teaching aid in the chemistry in schools and colleges.